Hi, I'm Matt Pierce, and this is how to direct download Android apps onto your PC with Google Play. The first thing you're going to need is a tool called BlueStacks. What BlueStacks is, is an app player for your PC that will run Android apps. It's really convenient, it's free, it runs on Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever you want to use. Just go to this website right here, bluestacks.com, and download the appropriate uh, version for your system. So the next thing you want to do after you've uh, installed BlueStacks, you got to run it and set it up. It'll ask for your Google Play pass or, uh, account name and your password. You do that, it sets you up, it connects you with the Google Play Store. Then once you're in, that, in there, then you want to download and install a backup utility and a file explorer utility. I've got ES File Explorer and App Backup and Restore, the two tools I know work really well. Then once you get those installed, then you want to go find the application that you want to download and back up and download it onto your BlueStacks device. Um, <clears throat> once that's done, you'll want to run the App Backup and Restore tool. You go through the list here, find the application that you want to back up. I'll just, uh, I'll click my CPU monitor right here. Click backup and what it will do is it'll, it'll back it up into a file system on your BlueStacks device, also on your Windows device. Then when you're done with that, go back home. The next thing you want to do is run the file manager utility. Bring that up and that'll bring you up to a file system right here, which is of your BlueStack device. And in here you'll find the app backup and restore directory. That is where the, uh, the f application that you backed up has been backed up to. Then you click and select on that, go to more, move to, and then what that will do is bring up the system again and you can, right now it's already configured to go into my Windows uh, documents directory, but you can maneuver through the file system you're, you're shown and go into the Windows subdirectory and then into your own, you know, your user subdirectories. Click OK and it will copy it there and then you can go into Windows and find it and that's where the APK file is.